Catrice came out with the new Arctic Illusion Trend Edition and I love a frosty winter limited edition. Let's see if this is living up to my expectations. Let's get into it. All right, so this collection is very like ice inspired. We have some really fun looking packaging. I'm really, really excited about it. So let's just quickly get into the first product. We have in this collection a glitter eyebrow styler. This is the Arctic Illusion Glitter Brow Styler in co one Arctic Blink. So it's a glitter brow gel. I did already put some brow gel in my brows just to hold them up. I don't know if this is gonna have a lot of hold, but we are gonna be trying glitter brows. I hope it's gonna look like somewhat good. I haven't tried it before. It was a little bit of a divisive product, so we're gonna see. How do I feel about it? Okay, so I zoomed you in a little bit. This is just a brow styler brush like this. It has these silver shimmers to it. It looks really interesting. I don't... Maybe I should try like the lower lashes first and see what I think about that when I apply it to the lower lashes because I did see someone apply this. Oh, that's really silvery. That is just a silver mascara. Can you see that? It's just, it's really silvery. Like this is really coloring my lower lashes. Totally silvery. That's really interesting. Okay, I look a bit different now because I was like, stop the presses, stop this right now. I need a moment. I need to rethink my process here because I was doing a short with the Lethal Cosmetics new palette with this eye look and I just realized I don't want to ruin my makeup with this brow styler and then have that be like the final look for the short. So I just did something and we are continuing on now. I just froze and I was like, oh no, what am I doing? So we are moving on. Nothing happened, just ignored it. And we are gonna put some of this in my brows. I think my brows are gonna look really silvery. It's gonna look, yeah, it's gonna look metallic silver. But why is that kind of cool? Why is that kind of cool? Why do I kind of love that with this look? Like, I wouldn't go out and about in this probably, but for an editorial look, a silver mascara or brow mascara. Mm, I'm seeing the vision here, I think. I still understand if you're watching this and you're like, what am I supposed to do with that? I totally understand, but I think I'm gonna film the last part of my transition again just to see what i like better the silver brows or the normal brows oh i am making a mess i need to fix this let's see how easy this is to clean up okay relatively easy luckily why am i intrigued i think i love it even more because it is matching my look i mean it's when things are matching it helps, of course. Okay, let that dry a little bit. Next up, we have a product that I'm not entirely sure what this is. This is described as a face glaze, but it's not really said what it is exactly. And this is just called Arctic Illusion Face Glaze C01 Crystallize. And it's in this really cool little pot like this. And I first said, I think this is gonna be like a like glossy, see-through, non-dry down kind of product. But it is actually looking more like a jelly much shadow, I'd say. Like, not exactly the same, probably. I don't have a jelly much eyeshadow to compare, but like a jelly much eyeshadow from Colourpop. They look like this in the packaging, and they are like this jelly formula that dries down. That's what I've heard from videos. I've never tried them myself, but I kind of feel like this is what I would imagine it to be, and this is an iridescent jelly creamy highlighter to dry down. Like I had the swatch on my hand for a little bit, let it dry and it just felt like a powder. So I'm thinking this can probably be used really easily as a highlighter, but also as an eyeshadow, like however you want to use it. I just feel like they could have marketed this a little better, like just tell us what it is. And then we can know if you should buy this 
Like if I had known this, that would have already made the whole collection much, much more interesting because this seems like a really interesting product to me and like something we haven't really seen from Catrice before. And I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and this is really like an iridescent blue to purple. I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner over here. I hope I'm not gonna ruin this look, but we're just gonna try it out. It's a risk. Like that is really like cooling feeling on the skin. I kind of feel like I need another brush to blend that out. It feels really cool, really jelly, and it's very like iridescent, shifty. Like, when you blend it out, it becomes a little bit more like subtle almost, but you still see that shift. I think you only need a little bit. I'm gonna continue on with just what I have left on my brush on the other side and you definitely see a lot of kind of like a violet bluish purple just taking a tiny bit more I think that's pretty cool I feel like there are some like options there are some different things you could do with a product like this do I really want to use this on my face I don't know I'm gonna try it but I think I'd see it more as a like a liquid eyeshadow or something like that. I'm gonna blend the edge here a little. I think that's pretty cool. But it's definitely very jelly. I feel like this is a very editorial collection. Like there's an editorial vibe here. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my finger, I think. I have way too many things in front of me. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger. I'm just gonna start with quite a tiny bit. And I'm just gonna apply that on my cheek just to see how easy it is that is actually really pretty and really easy to use just a little bit it is a blue highlighter and it has a sparkle to it but it is really pretty and if it dries down but not like too quickly but if it dries down then that can be a really cool product if you like a colorful highlighter that is actually really cool i really like that I think I might like it the most on my cheeks. I feel like it really comes across when you have a little bit more of a like surface for it to shift. But maybe then if I do this as a eyeshadow over the lid, that could be really cool. All right, I'm gonna close this and screw the lid on really, really tightly. I feel like this is the type of product where if you don't do that, it's gonna dry down and you're gonna be really sad. I would be really sad because I can't wait to play with this product. I think it's gonna be really fun to just try it out a little bit. It's really like this a violet highlighter. I am really feeling like a frosty princess from like a fantasy movie. That's how I'm feeling right now. We have also another highlighter in this collection. The thing that I was most excited about, we have the Arctic Illusion Highlighter C1 Crystal cold and this is such a cool packaging this packaging is just out of this world beautiful amazing it is quite a chunky highlighter i mean this is gonna take up some space in your drawer but it looks really beautiful it just has a beautiful like diamond-esque light scattering properties is really beautiful and when you open it up it seems like it would be kind of like a shimmery highlighter but once swatched this actually looks pretty smooth like a smooth white highlighter and i did get a question to compare this to the my heartbeat disco highlighter by essence the color of them is the same but i would say the formula is really different this one is very smooth it has more of a base color to it and the essence basically has no base color and just it's packed full of shimmer so that one is very shimmery i think this is going to be pretty smooth on the skin and then we also have the brush from this collection which looks really cool the handle of this is really beautiful this is just I threw out the box, but this is like the highlighter brush, I think, from the collection. I feel like the hairs of this feel really good. I would actually use this probably as a small blush brush. I think it would work really well like that. The handle is really nice. I feel like this is a pretty well-made brush. Like, I have high hopes for this. And for this video, we are just gonna apply the highlighter with this brush. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. It's a white highlighter on a white brush, so you don't really see, like, what's going on. That is really nice. 
that's really nice oh i like that a lot okay so it's really like this kind of like a wet look highlighter and it's kind of like this what i always call a shimmer veil highlighter you have glittery highlighters that have chunky glitters that you can kind of like see on the skin as a separate thing like you can point to the glitters it's like there's a glitter there's a glitter and here it's kind of like the shimmers the glitters the shimmers are so fine that it becomes a veil of shimmer and kind of like a wet look highlighter but it still has a little bit of a shimmer to it more than some highlighters kind of like for example a baked highlighter that is just one sheen it's not one sheen but it's like such small pieces of shimmers that it becomes one sheen and i feel like this is really beautiful i think that is stunning i'm gonna apply a little bit more i like it applied with the brush as well the, br the brush is really working well like i threw this in just to see what would happen if it would be any good i do really like the brush I would use this for highlighter and for blush, I think. So here we have the blue jelly highlighter that has completely dried down. Really beautiful. And here we have just the kind of like sheeny whitish highlighter. I, ooh, I really like this collection so far. I think that is a really beautiful highlighter. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Like this is looking really good. I can totally see myself wearing that more often and like in different situations i feel like this could work like to the office as well but you can also make a really nice like icy look with it make it a little bit more binding build it up a little bit more okay okay catrice okay i think the last thing for this collection if i don't overlook anything is gonna be the glosses so we have three plumping lip glosses in this collection we have c01 ice gazing which is kind of like an iridescent white to pinky shifting shade looks amazing the shimmers in this when swatched on the arm seemed quite subtle like you see them but they are not chunky like some glosses are really chunky these don't seem that chunky then we have co2 in ice and this one is kind of like almost a periwinkle purpley blue really beautiful really shimmery as well but in just such a nice way i'm very excited about these glosses i just love when Estes and Catrice do colored lip products in their collections i want to see it more i want to see it all i love this so much and then we also have the plumbing effect gloss in co3 real illusion what a fun name it's actually real but it's an illusion or is it a real illusion like it's actually an illusion that's something to think about so this is a pink shimmery gloss it has kind of like almost a champagne mix in there as well i am very excited about these i'm gonna just be taking this lip off and doing some lip swatches okay let's start with gloss c01 let's keep it in order and this has a pretty nice looking doe foot a bit more of a slim shape pretty flexible it feels a little minty so if you don't like a minty gloss maybe this is not for you we're gonna see how that develops yeah it's definitely becoming more minty this is a really nice shimmery gloss not a glittery gloss it's a shimmery gloss and it just has the most beautiful dimension to it it has something a little icy to it but i feel like you can top this over a lot of different things you can wear it on its own it's not too extreme to do that i love a slightly icy looking gloss it's a bit of a thinner feel it's not sticky almost a little bit like a lip oil but in a really nice way i really think this feels really nice and it is like a minty plump it's not burning it's not tingling it's not hurting so if you don't like that you don't have to skip these this feels really nice and i do really like the way that's looking like it's a really nice shimmer that is not in your face it's not too crazy if you don't like it okay i'm so excited about co2 this is such a cool color of gloss and like it matches my nails i really love periwinkle it is my favorite color in the whole world i love the month of may because then in the netherlands there will be fields of wildflowers and there will be cornflowers and i just love just 
the dimension of the cornflower blue. Like this, this is my favorite color. I love it. So let's see if I will actually like my favorite color on my lips. It is pretty subtle once again, but it's just a really nice, I can build it up. See, like that is a little bit more bluish, but it's a cornflower blue that leans a little bit more purpley, which makes it a little bit more wearable. It is a sheer shimmery gloss. I definitely see a, the different tint to it. Like it does look different than the other one. So it's not like you only need one, but these are sort of subtle glosses. If I really press my lips together, I do feel the shimmer a little bit, but I feel like that's the case with basically every lip product that has a shimmer in it. Like these are not exceptionally gritty, but if you really, really do your best to feel it, you will. I really like this one because as I told you, I really love a little bit of a frosty lip. I really like a little bit of a frosty look. And I think this is gonna look so good on top of kind of like nude, cooler toned, nude lip look. Okay, lastly, we have the pink one. I think this is probably gonna look a little bit more colored than the other ones. We're gonna see. I love a pink lip. So yeah, I do see that pink. It's a little bit more colored. I really love this one. This shade is so nice. It's so nice. Wow. Who would have thought I would be such a fan of this collection? Like Catrice is really doing it for me. Like their holiday collection, their fall collection, this collection, they are doing exactly what I want. I think Catrice does such a great job as a drugstore brand. I truly love them. This gloss is so cute. I love the shine, I love the dimension. I think the shimmer in it is just not really like tastefully. It feels a little safe compared to like these brows and this blue highlighter, but I can definitely see myself throwing this in a purse and just reapplying this throughout the day because this is a really nice just everyday lip product for me. The mintiness also isn't too strong. Sometimes it can be a little distracting to me, like why am I feeling this sensation on my lips throughout the day? But this is subtle. Okay, this collection really swept me right off my feet. I was like Bambi on ice. I am actually shocked at how much I like this. I of course always hope the best from Catrice, but when they deliver, I get really excited. Okay. So the finished look, I know it's out there, but I just feel like everything in this collection made sense and is really, really nice. And I just feel like kind of cool. I feel kind of cool. I feel editorial, but in a way that is approachable and easy. Okay, let's talk about the brows. I'm not gonna wear this every day. I'm not gonna wear this into the office, but the fact that this is basically like a metallic full pigment brow gel and mascara makes this more wearable than if this were like a very sparse glitter. I feel like the brow styler also has a pretty good hold. Of course, I already had some brow gel on, but it really does feel like it glued them on even more. And this also feels really like, like, it feels good. It looks good. It hasn't really altered the brows or my lashes in a way that I'm like, okay, it made it look less good. So I'm actually pretty excited about this. I feel like this is pretty interesting. I am probably going to wear it with very specific looks, maybe more so for like Instagram, but I think this is really cool. Also, just if you want to use it a little bit on the tips, I feel like just using this as a mascara as well makes it so versatile and I would actually do that for a frosty look. So in the end, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And then of course we have the face glaze. I didn't know what to expect, but I actually think this is a really good product. The thing that really gets me with this is that it is super nice and shifty, but it also dries down. So we have a shimmery shifty highlighter and it was really easy to apply and it's just like fully dried down now. But it was also blendable. It wasn't like too quick to dry. And I also think it's gonna be a really nice eyeshadow. I like it in the inner corner. It was blendable. I like that it has a little bit of a sheer quality to it. Like, this is really cool and there are just different ways you can use it. And that makes it so that even if you think that a blue highlighter isn't for you, isn't your thing, you could still use this in different ways. 
I think that's really fun that Catrice did that one. The brush, I actually think is really nice. I thought it was gonna be a little bit of a throwaway, like throw it in there, I'm probably gonna use it. But this actually feels really nice, it feels good. It was easy to apply the highlighter with. I actually do really like that brush. And then of course we have the highlighter, the powder highlighter. This is looking so good on my skin. It's looking so smooth. It's just looking gorgeous. And it's just a very cool toned white sheen. And I am just kind of in love with how that looks. I think this is one of the best highlighters I have tried this year. I'm kind of thinking, is this gonna end up in my yearly favorites? Like we're getting close and things I've only used like two or three times. It's not gonna end up in that. Like it has to be a true favorite, but this one is kind of like, that is so nice. And I can totally see myself wearing it over and over again because it really has that wet look sheen. I am such a fan. And then of course the glosses. I applied a little bit of the Queen Vibes lip liner. I basically always use this, the one from Catrice. And I use a little bit of the pink gloss with that. I think it's a really fun, nice looking lip look. Like that really works together. I think these glosses are really nice. If you don't mind a little bit of a minty gloss, I don't know if you need all three because they are a little bit more on the sheer side, but I cannot wait to play around with these. I think these are really gonna be nice ones to top over lip looks as well. Okay, so I basically liked everything. Huge fan of this collection, huge fan of this look. Let's see what my boyfriend has to say about it, if he even notices my metallic brows. And that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.